Okay, here we are in northern Nevada. The skies are clear today. It's supposed to get up to around 84, 86. Don't know where it's at right now. But there's nothing going on in the sky right now. Sun's up there, looking good, nice and hot. Oh yeah. Got our radishes here. They're not doing so particularly well, but they're growing, so we'll see what happens. Over here we got tomatoes. I know it looks like there's a lot of them in there, but I'm doing single stem. At least until they get up and bush out a little bit. Getting some flowers on those already. My sweet 100's doing really good with flowers anyway. These are some tomato plants that I tried to rescue. I don't know if they're going to make it or not. We got potatoes. Probably a couple too many in there, but they're growing, so we don't care. These are some pepper plants. We got some pimento peppers that are starting to yellow. Maybe too much nitrogen. I don't know. Let me know. This here is a yellow bell pepper, and this is, I believe, a Tabasco. No, it's a chili de arbol. And this here is our our cayenne pimento. These all, so they're doing pretty good. Over here, maybe I should tell you guys a little bit about this. I've been out of work for about three years now. Can't find nothing in this town. So, I decided this year I was going to grow my own food. I'm trying to grow as much of it as possible. We haven't ever gardened here before. There's never really much into it, but, you know, necessity. Times are changing. Things are going to get better. We'll see what happens with the garden. But, uh, if I need it, it'll produce food. This is all my corn. I've got two kinds of corn in here. This half is all a giant corn, an edible giant corn with uh, ears that are supposed to be like 15 inches long, 15 to 18 inches. This is all some uh, heirloom corn I got a hold of. It's a yellow variety, that's all I know. I had peanuts in here, but they all died off. So I've just been watering the ground, getting it ready. Today I'm going to turn all this over. Give it another good watering, and maybe tomorrow I'll finish planting corn all the way down there. Uh, we collected a whole bunch of junk over the last two decades. Never really had much money. Always working class, blue collar. Steadily going downhill. When our plant closed up. I got laid off. And nothing much else going on in this town, so gotta do what you gotta do. Luckily, we were pack rats, and we have just a ton of stuff that I found out can help me become more sustainable. So this is our our asparagus trench. I just putting the asparagus in there like a week ago. So, let's we'll see how that does. They had little stems and everything on them when I transplanted them, but those died off right away. See, right here. That was a little stem, but it died off right away. Been watering it every day. I don't know what's going on. I did it exactly how some of the people on YouTube said to do it. We'll see if it works. <coughs> That's an old dead uh, Asian pear tree, I believe. Died a few years ago. Gonna take that out put something else in its place. This is our squash bed. It'll be growing a bit. Gonna have to expand it. I got too many squash starts to to let this backyard stay like this and not put food in it. But we got yellow crookneck, we got magda, we've got straight neck, uh, Peter Pan, banana, that ought to get huge. What do we got here? 
just some oh that's a black beauty zucchini and some zephyr some buttercup there's a big mac pumpkin right over there and it's not doing so great it seems like everything on this half of the yard is doing better than on that half of the bed so i don't know why that's happening but you know whatever's dead i got starts i'll dig them up put more in come over here you'll see some of our collection of junk bicycles I learned how to turn those into electric generating uh, uh, you know what I'm talking wind generator, wind turn rides friendly wasp not really doing much for me but you know I hear they're good to have over here we have this that's elderberry bush of one kind there's another elderberry bush of another so we'll be making some elderberry wine Thai hot chili down there is doing good look at all them chilies this is a honeysuckle one of our little prizes we're gonna be calling this place honeysuckle haven growing a better earth so my daughter's bearded iris that she got the other day. Yeah, for the most part, it's doing okay. This is my other daughter's iceberg rose. We had to replace it this year. We got it for her on her graduation, and a few years later, it went under. So we got this one. It looks to be doing great. Look at that. How pretty is that? Wonderful other things going here all kinds of stuff hot banana peppers yeah I know what you're thinking what the hell happened but you know these these were all wilted it was putting out all kinds of stuff on top but it wasn't really strong enough to do that yet so I left a couple of leaves on there they're not looking so hot but maybe it'll bounce back if you top them they'll grow see here's some growth right here I don't know if you can see that or not but they'll grow back this will all turn into a stick really hard and dark and it'll make for a really strong low pepper plant that's an Anaheim pepper right there Anaheim hot pepper some hot banana pepper right here did the same thing this one probably stands a better chance it has more leaves that are still good um, some cuttings we got from a friend what is this don't know what it is the wife will know this thing wow did she have a great idea or what? We had this 10 by 10 hexagonal sunshade that we got a few years back, more pack rat stuff. And we decided to put it up and I cut out the panels on top and put up plastic and some Gorilla Tape, which is really holding pretty good, and turned it into a greenhouse. Now, at first we had all of these walls up but the wind came through and it got really hot and our our uh, our velcro started peeling off because it was melting in the sun so we decided the ones that fell down we go ahead and fold up and everything and leave it open the ones that stay up we'll leave up we can fold them up for ventilation I mean this probably cost me it was maybe 15 bucks for the shade and the clearance cell and 20 bucks worth of plastic and eight dollars for tape so I got a 10 by 10 greenhouse for you know around 30 35 bucks had to build it myself but well worth it what do we got growing in here we got some forage flowers you can eat those the flowers taste like like uh, cucumber some pak choy some stevia that hasn't started yet giant peanuts again they're not coming up they've been in there for two months maybe now and nothing happening probably repack those with something else uh, Johnny jump up some leeks there's a little leak starting in there some purple pepper there down here we got some cotton growing some mallow started that little rainbow heirloom tomato a friend gave me and you know I don't know maybe I should transplant it maybe not mm kind of stunted 
uh, some sensitive plants just because we like plants that interact with us so you can touch these and they'll move when they're bigger some bok choy and use daisies there's an early uh, English primrose or something out there that's going to be coming up. Some catnip and some cat, cat grass for all the cats. Look at these. We call them beauty melons. They're some kind of musk melon. But uh, we left them in the fridge. We bought one. Left it in the fridge. Forgot about it. And like four months later, we found it. In the bottom of the fridge. And you know what? It was still bright. So we called them beauty melons. After all that time, the seed's still sprouting right out of the melon. So we're going to have to transplant those here real soon. I got over here. Nothing else starting down here, although the true lavender I hope comes up. Lady lavender. Back there, we got some lemon balm that I hope comes up. Over here, we have a couple of asparagus ferns that we had to bring out here. We're hoping they recover a bit. They turned yellow in the house. So we brought them out here to try to green them, green them back up a little bit. Sorry about that. Try to green them back up a little bit. We got some oregano and stuff that is just starting to peek out there. Some lemon cucumbers I got to transplant. Hot spicy oregano. That stuff is delicious. Another potato there. A friend tried to give me something else. Maybe, uh, I don't know, some big flowered bush. But, you know what? potatoes came up out of it. She actually got those. This is our little sick area, kind of. This is a mystery. Came up. Some Spanish onion that's been in there for months and it's just starting to take off. Some verbena, some orange sage, I believe. Orange thyme. Some more lavender stuff. Lady lavender right here. Ooh. Yellow crook neck right here. Look at that guy. He's nice and strong. you got to be transplanted. Some cauliflower, what's that? Slicing cucumber. And this is Vinca. Beautiful plant. We just stuck it in the head of our little guy there. Just in the pot. You know, it's doing well. Let's go take a look out here. Would you look at those? They're bolting though. Gotta harvest them. Peas are starting to really take off just in the last couple of days. This is our broccoli. Look at that right there. Can you see that? A little head of broccoli starting there. There's a couple of them starting on these. Cauliflower hasn't started putting out heads yet, but we'll see. We got some more cucumbers right there. We're going to trellis up if they ever grow right. And these are bok choy. They were about six inches across when we put them in here about six weeks ago. And look at the size of these things. I mean, just huge. But it's bolting. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest these tonight. We already took a whole bunch of these, maybe 30 leaves off of these earlier, a week ago. They're delicious. What do we got over here? Oh, over here we have our spinach that is ready to bolt. So I'm going to harvest that tonight. And a bunch of baby spinach coming up. Now, I try to do things square foot method, but I'm not being real strict on it. What I really want is just to grow. And you know what? These might be too close. The spinach right here, and we got some beets right here. But they're growing. That's all I care about. Uh, over here, we got some Brussels sprouts. They had a real hard time taking off. They were all smaller than that when we put them in, and they stayed that size for weeks. Well, two weeks. Now they're starting to really come up. So I'm glad about that. This is cucumber that struggled hard, way hard. I don't think that this area gets enough light. When I put these boxes down, these trees were not in leaf yet, and I didn't even think about it. So, you know, rookie mistake. These only get a couple hours of direct sunlight every day. We'll see what happens. Those are gypsy peppers, and of course, a Japanese cucumber over there. These are all pickling cucumbers. That was full of cucumbers, but they started dying off, so we put peppers in instead. They need light too, but we'll see. Over here is our lettuce bed. I know it doesn't look very great right now, but do you see all this stuff? All this stuff starting to come up right here? Yeah. 
Look at all that. That's probably a weed. That's like a grass weed. We're going to pluck that out. Got onions. These are all Walla Walla onions. Some carrots that took, I don't know, a month to sprout, and they've been up for about two weeks, and that's all they've done. And this whole area here was filled with carrot seed, but not much happening. They probably won't even make it. These onions didn't make it. We got some starts over here. Yeah. Look at these. We got some loofah plants so we can get our own sponges. Some Swiss chard. More zucchini. Some uh, chili negro was actually coming up somewhere. Yeah, right here. Chili negro. Black chilies. These are jalapeno. Jalapeno. Sweet pepper. Uh, Swiss chard, as you can see. Okay, so I've already cut some stuff out of here. What are these? These are collard greens. Ooh, I can't wait for those. These are some pole beans. I know. I just found out the other day they don't do well with transplant. But these are only about four days after sprouting. Isn't it amazing how fast they grow? Four days. And here I got some super sweet 100s. They're not heirloom. But, you know what? They're food. I'll eat them. These are those peppers I topped, and this is why. So this is not a very big, strong plant yet. And you see all the peppers it's putting out? Just too early for the plant to be doing that yet, I think. So I cut this off. You can start over, become strong. There you go. More stuff over here. Some yard stuff we'll be putting out. A little garden center over there. It's all junky right now. Those are pretty cool. They're not real. Plastic. Oh, we got grapes here. They're starting to bud out. We got grapes over here. They're starting to bud out. All good. Everything is doing well. We got this gazebo. We're probably going to put a, sh a shade cloth on this and use this area both as a sitting area and an area for new plants that haven't been transplanted yet. We got our strawberries. They're, uh, what are they? Beltran strawberries. And look at these. Isn't that beautiful? How beautiful is that? And they taste so good. Oh, so good. Some of them are tiny. Some are bigger. We're going to go to Mom's house tomorrow. Dad's got cancer and not doing so well with it. But Mom's been taking care of him, so we're going to bring her some fresh strawberries. See how she likes that. She loves strawberries. Over here we got a couple of volunteer plants. I don't know how this happened. We threw bird seed on the ground to feed the birds around here. And this came up. Now it was in a little black seed. I'm assuming it was some kind of sunflower seed. Not sure. And this is potato, believe it or not. I don't know where it came from, but there it is. Oh, and look at all these ants. We got a huge ant problem this year. They're on everything. Hopefully, they won't kill everything off. Oh, we better cover that back up. Some climbing roses my wife wanted. Let's see how those do. So far, they're still green. They haven't sprouted anything new yet. This is my little fairy garden. My fairy garden. And would you believe it, last night, it was sitting up there. And last night, somebody, or something, tipped it over. And all these plants came out. Yeah, but that also let me know that my morning glories that are in here are also sprouting up. I hadn't seen those yesterday when I looked at it, so... Those might be an overnight. Let's see how it goes. Got a bunch of irises over here. Come out here. These are all tree of heaven, and I know people hate these trees. But I've been picking off the stems that stick out this way, picking off the stems that go out that way, and I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work or not. This one's going to go up. But I'm going to try to espalier these a little bit just to make them grow along the fence, stay flat with the fence and make a natural fence line right here. These, oh, beautiful. 
giant sunflower. And they're doing well. They're doing really well. We started these from seed. They're on the north side of the house. South side of the house, sorry. And they're doing great. You're supposed to have heads on like 15 to 18 inches across. Just pack the seeds. Right here. I know this looks kind of weird. But you know what? Oh, well, we got our flower bed over here. Some of it's doing good. Some's not. Almost all of them are edible. We've had this little castle thing and this windmill. I got to fix that today for years. And really never did anything with it. But today I put a mound there. We got some black beauty zucchini starting in the mound, going around. So I'll just cover that with lush, lush, uh, you know, foliage. Here, these might be trying to too close together. I don't know. If they are, oh well. These are sugar pie uh, pumpkins, and these four are Big Mac pumpkins. I'm hoping, hoping that all their vines and stuff will trail out over the yard here and really cover the yard in foliage. And of course, it'd be nice if this would work with the wind we get here every once in a while. But you know what? Maybe if these get bigger, that'll cut them. So maybe we won't let it go in the wind. This side of the yard, I'm going to turn into a meadow. Yes, a meadow. Sprinkling seeds down, letting it grow the way it wants to grow. Return it back to its, you know, natural order. Just dug up a bunch of that stuff yesterday. Been there for years. Oh, we have another rose here. Oh, and look, our little ladybug is back. We put out two whole things of ladybugs, live ladybugs. And this is the only one left in the yard that we can find. We did it at night. So they wouldn't fly off, but you know what? The sun came up and they must have left. But this rose, it's a climbing rose, hopefully it'll go up and over this arbor here. It's putting out little buds now. Hopefully it'll take off. And we found some aphids on it today, so we went and tracked down that one ladybug. We knew where he was, where she was. We went and tracked her down and put her over here, and she's been ravenously, ravenously eating aphids, so good job, thank you, bud. Here we have another climbing rose of the same variety. It's got a bud right here. Some new growth coming up. Oh, these things. Elm beetles. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. But these are elm beetles, and they are all over these elm trees. Backyard, front yard, they're everywhere. I gotta cut all this dead stuff out. The trees have been neglected for decades. But see what these elm beetles do? Look here. These elm beetles do that. They eat these little leaves and they die and they fall off and the tree gets naked again. And, you know, I'm trying to find a natural solution to that. Um, I don't think the ladybugs are gonna help, especially since they all left. But we also got a package of mantis egg. And I think at some point during their life cycle, they're going to be just the right size to eat up all those beetles. Hopefully. I don't know if they'll eat them or not. But we're going to hope. That's what I choose to believe. So that's going not so well. Some of it's going our Yarrow is taking off. Back here we have our car graveyard. It doesn't run. Runs, but needs a tune-up. Doesn't run. Doesn't run. And this is our trumpet vine. My wife planted this ten years ago, maybe. And it got pretty neglected over time. But this year, we started watering it again, and it came right back. Isn't that amazing? I haven't had a flower or hardly any leaves on it for you know, eight, ten years. And now, leaves, leaves, leaves. They're all over. So hopefully that'll put out some good flowers this year. Our little wood junk pile. This is stuff I took out of the trees. Stuff that was too low. Stuff that was dead. I'm just letting it dry over here. And I'll use it for firewood. It's elm. It doesn't burn real great. But you know what? It's great to sit down in the backyard in the middle of the night look up into the canopy of trees and see the firelight reflecting off of it is great. 
So that's about it for now. Tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't laze out, all of this will be gone. Maybe something new planted in there. This will all be still going. That'll be going. Get some stuff done here today. Anyway, I better sign off of here and get busy because as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. Lots and lots to do. Lots to do. So, we'll see you later.